Hi, my name is Tabitha. I chose to do my speech on how to read to a child. This is something that I feel really strongly about, um, and I think it's really important because I'm an education major, and I think that everyone should know how to read to kids because most people either have kids of their own, have nieces or nephews, or um, no kids in their church, just something like that. Um, so reading to children can be fun for them and you if you follow these three things. How to choose the right book. Um, when looking at a potential book, the cover and pictures should be colorful and grab your attention. Um, so if, when you go up to a child's library, a children's library, and you're just looking at all these books, look for the ones that have um, vibrant pictures. And um, in this case, it's okay to judge a book by its cover. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the reading level should be around the child's grade level. And um, the moral of the story should be a lesson that the kids can relate to. The younger the child, the simpler the concept should be. Make sure that you think the book is funny and, or interesting because the kids will pay more attention if you are excited about the book and they can tell that. Um, so for example, this book, when I chose it, I chose it because of the bright colors on the, um, the bright red cover. And so the pictures inside are really colorful and um, there's not a lot of writing on each page. So it's easy for about a third grade kid or um, classroom. And next, how to make it fun and educational. Use expression when reading the book. And a good tip is to act like it's the most exciting story you've ever read. Um, act surprise, sad, or laugh based on what happens in the story. Um, use different voices for different characters. For instance, um, speak in a a squeaky high-pitched voice when you're um, reading what a mouse says or speak with a low um, slow voice when reading what a turtle says the kids will enjoy the story much more and um, they'll get more out of it <coughs> show the pictures when you're reading the book and um, a good tip when you're reading to a group is to read the whole page so the kids can visualize what you're saying and then show them the picture um, to teach reading, encourage your child, uh, the child that you're reading to, to join you with reading repetitive phrases or um, use your finger to follow along with some sentences. So, for example, I'm going to read a passage of this book. I wish I could read the whole thing, but I don't have time for that. Um, <clears throat> they started in the early the next morning, just as the sun was coming up. Soon, a little boy came along. Do you think he will finish by sundown? He said to Mike Mulligan. Sure, said Mike, if you stay and watch us. We will always work faster and better when someone is watching us. So the little boy stayed to watch. Then Mrs. McGillicuddy, Henry B. Swap, and the town constable came over to see what was happening. And they stayed to watch. Mike Mulligan and Marianne dug a little faster and a little better. This gave the boy a good idea. He ran off and told the postman with the morning mail, the telegraph boy on his bicycle, the milkman with his cart and horse, the doctor on his way home, and the farmer and his family coming into town for the day. And they all stopped to watch the Mike Mulligan and Marianne. That made Mike Mulligan and Marianne dig a little faster and a little better. They finished the first corner in Meaton Square, but the sun was getting higher. Clang, clang, clang! The fire department arrived. They had seen the smoke and thought that there was a fire. Then the little boy said, why don't you stay and watch? So the fire department of Popperville stayed to watch Mike Mulligan and Marianne. When they heard the fire engine, the children in the school across the street couldn't keep their eyes on their lessons. The teacher called a long recess, and the whole school came out to watch. That made Mike Mulligan and Marianne dig still faster and still better. They finished the second corner neat and square, but the sun was right up in the top of the sky. And lastly, how to ensure understanding. You um, want to watch, um, ask questions. Ask a lot of questions after your reading book or even during your um, reading, like what do you think 
that the character, what will happen to the character, what do you think he'll do in this situation, what would you do if this happened to you, um, and anything else that you think that the kids should know. And to discuss the moral of the story. Maybe even use a Bible verse to back up what the story illustrates. So <clears throat> you make sure that the kids are um, taking something away from reading this book. And Mike Mulligan and his team shovel. The moral of the story is that we should be good stewards of God's gifts because throughout the book, Mike Mulligan takes care of Marianne, the steam shovel. And the verse that I found to go along with this is 1 Peter 4.10. As each one has received a gift, minister it to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. And lastly, <clears throat> make sure that when you're reading to a child, you have picked an appropriate book. Um, have tried to make it fun and educational for the child, and make sure that they understand the plot and the lesson of the story. Have fun with the reading, and remember, it's never too early to read to kids.